Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today we're going to work on an, yet another ambassador. I've worked on several of these. This one is a Abu Ambassador 5600 C5 Mag X made in Sweden. And uh, this one comes in from Joshua. I believe this was his dad's reel. And uh, he just asked me if I couldn't clean them up and get them going fishing again. So there's some evidence that uh, it's been out there uh, on the waters. There's some film in that left over. Otherwise, a quick test says that the reel is working. Probably just needs to be cleaned, serviced, and put back into use again. So we're going to start by taking off the exterior pieces. We'll do a complete disassembly of this reel. And uh, we'll show you how to do it yourself. So if you like that kind of uh, video, then I would encourage you to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe to my channel, please use that notification button. It'll let you know when I'm posting videos. And I work on all kinds of reels, so you'll get a chance to see which ones are in my shop. And, uh, well, if you want to watch them and learn how to do it, then uh, you can select that off the notification button. So I took out the retention screw and I took off the clip. This is a 10 millimeter nut and I've loosened it and then I'm going to hand thread away. And as I do this, I want to encourage you to take pictures along the way if you're not familiar with the reel. That way, when uh, something crops up in terms of your uh, trying to figure out where the piece goes from an orientation standpoint or the like, well, you'll have a chance to uh, go back to your uh, pictures and notice when you took it off, where you took it off from, and uh, how it goes back on. I'm going to remove this C-clip here. I was looking for a small screwdriver that I had, but I can't find it at the moment. There it is. Using a small screwdriver just fits right in that slot there. There you go. This is the E-clip that holds the gear post onto the bridge shaft. And when I take my pieces and parts off, they go into a parts tray. That way I know where they are when it's time to reinstall. We'll take the handle off. When I take the handle off, it's always a good idea for me to hit the joints with some penetrating oil. Some dirt that can build up in there. And if the, there's dirt in there, well, Putting that oil in there will help to, to uh, get it to come off. Behind the handle, there's a tension washer. It goes between the handle and the star adjuster. And then you can take the star adjuster off next. So this mag, it's a mag reel C5 mag, but I'm not seeing an adjuster for the mag. So I'm just curious if it's kind of working off of the traditional uh, spool brake shoe. I guess we'll find out. Most of the time you have a mag adjuster. That might be what this is over here. Yeah, I think that, that's exactly what that is. That's your mag adjuster there. Okay, let's put the star adjuster in. And now we have three screws that are holding the rest of the side plate on. What I generally like to do with this is just get the screw to start unseating and then remove the rest by hand. like that. You should be able to pull the spool assembly off. We have a little pressure cap here underneath the cast control cap. That's holding the axle shaft for the spool in. You'll notice one side is flat and one side is sort of peaked like a mound. The peak goes in towards the spool. With that off then you can remove the spool assembly. And then under the spool assembly we have a variety of brakes here. We have a spool shaft that can come out. We have a bearing on this side. We'll go ahead and oil that. And we should have a bearing under this side here. We do. So go ahead and oil that. Wipe off your spool shaft. And a little bit of oil or light grease can work there as well. Just knock the bearing out. If you ever want to replace the bearings, that's all you have to do. Put that little click and drive for your line guide. Let's take the rest of the spool assembly out. 
And if you ever had a question, there's a little indentation on the side of the spool here that grabs that little um, plastic piece in the cast control cap, so that's going to face your real body. Underneath here, there's your mag, and you just want to check as you go through this, turn the idler gear, that's the plastic piece underneath, just to check that all of the teeth are there and present. If they weren't, you can take the side plate off and uh, go ahead and service that. I want to move that a little bit because I want to get the pole carrier over to the side now so that we can uh, service the line guide and pole. While I'm doing that, if you have any questions on this reel or any fishing reel, maybe you're working on one and you're stuck or something, if you want to leave that question in the comments section, I will try to give you an answer if I know the answer, or direct you if I don't. If uh, you leave the question in the comments section, you can generally get a pretty good uh, rate of return, as I do try to answer those in the mornings before I enter my shop. If you try calling on a phone, well, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. I, uh, I do not answer the phone while I'm doing videos and a lot of times while I'm doing wheel repair. I apologize for that, but be forewarned, the comment section is a better way to get an answer. All right, when I took the pole out, I inspected the, the two forks. They're in good condition. I also checked the shoulder of this to make sure that there are no um, buildup of dirt and grease and, and the like. I oiled the worm gear and the internal shell of that um, line guide assembly. I grab my pliers and put the pole back in. It's a tight fit, just take your time. Eventually it will seat in. And if it's not all the way down, don't worry, just put a little pressure on it. Turn that line guide idler gear and that will pull it in. Once it does that, go ahead and grab your cap. Sometimes easier said than done. Go ahead and put the cap back on. And it may need a final adjustment when we put the spool back in. We'll see. trying to turn it right now. Yeah, it's turning. That's fine. Uh, all right. So what we want to do in addition to that is we want to clean the bottom. Now that the spool is out, we have access to that. We're going to use a kitchen scrubby pad and we're going to use some rod and reel cleaner. In this case, it's Penn's rod and reel cleaner. I guess that's not a terrible thing because Abu is now owned by Penn. Wouldn't be a terrible thing anyway. I don't uh, think there's much difference in rod and reel greases, so if you, uh, you don't need to be ashamed of using pen grease on a Iowa reel or anything like that. Okay, that's done. We've done the spool. Let's go ahead and put the spool in just to get it out of the way. A little bit of grease onto the side where it's going to seat in, and a little bit of grease onto where it's going to go through your pinion gear later. And we can mount that spool into the case and just set that aside. Here's the business end of the reel then. There's two screws that are holding the side plate on, so let's take care of that. Get some of these tools off the bench here so that you have a better view. That goes right into my parts tray so that I don't lose it. We'll do one on the other side. And that should enable us to take the case off. Now the case is, I guess, evidence that it's been a while since these reels have been serviced. We do have an instant anti-reverse in here. We have two tension washers that were on top of the stack for the, the main gear and the drag. And now I'm just using a paper towel to clean off the old grease from the inside of the case. This is a pretty standard setup for the uh, Abu Garcia reels. So the variation in this reel is the mag. 
Uh, the rest of it is pretty much stock standard stuff and it needs to be cleaned and re-greased. We're going to start, since we've taken that E-clip off, by removing this whole post. There is a little brass washer on the bottom of this seat here. Don't lose it. Be aware that it is there. And then we should be able to pull up on a spring tensioner. It won't take much. All right, there you go. Set that to the side. We're going to leave these parts right on the table. This is about cleaning and then replacing. We have our yoke and our pinion gear next. We have our jack. And then we have our free spool release lever. I'm just going to take that off. If I can get it off. There we go. And those are your components to your plate. There's a bunch of old dried grease on here, so let's get that off. I'm going to use a penetrating oil as a degreaser. I'm going to leave that little brass washer on there. I'll wipe the rest clean. And this is showing no evidence of any kind of salt build up or corrosion or anything like that. Just a good cleaning is all that's needed there. Same thing on the pieces and parts then. Have some old grease on there. Make sure you clean it off. Looks like there's just a little bit left over there. The back side as well. And then we can remove the pinion gear. Check the teeth of the pinion gear. As I mentioned, this one's pretty much just dry. That makes sense if it was Joshua's uh, dad's reel. It's been sitting a while. Makes sense. Check your teeth. Make sure they're uniform. No chips or distortions in it. And then uh, you're good to grease it. Then a little bit of grease into the carrier. The carrier is a two-sided carrier. One of the sides of this is going to have a slope. That's going to face the spool. And when you install your pinion gear, the slot is also going to face the spool. So this is your setup for that. And then we can uh, pretty much put the top end in first. And we'll go ahead and put that back together. A little bit of light grease, but not a lot on the top end. This piece is going to be the first part. And we're going to take the Free spool jack goes next. A couple of things with that. The bar is going to ride inside this case and it's going to bump up against the one on the other side. Actually, it's got to go below that. Just like that. That's your setup for that. This goes towards the spool. Seats in there just like that. And you can push the assembly up if you like. Okay, then we need our tensioner. This is one of the posts that it's going to sit on. So find that post. And then just press it down. Make sure that the pieces are all the way down when you do this. Don't leave any gaps there. That's the top end of your ambassador. Back in we have a little bit of grease here. Let's take the assembly off. I'm not going to imagine that there's any issues there. These are carbon text drags inside of it. So there's no greases or oils needed with that. Just check, make sure that there's no buildup on that. And this is your click ratchet. That's going to go on first after you put a light coating of grease onto the bridge shaft. With the bridge shaft installed, Take your main gear, make sure it's clean. We have a little bit of old grease on the bottom here, so let's take care of that. Check the teeth like you did with the pinion gear. Get your grease brush out. Now you don't have to get grease in every tooth. The difference between the diameter of your pinion gear and your main gear is going to spread that grease. 
and then seat that. Again, these are carbon techs. They're hard washers. You don't need to do anything. If you would like to, it's optional. You can put a very fine coating of grease on and wipe it off. All right, the first one in after the first fabric washer is a keyed washer. It's the one that has the rectangle on it. Put the second. The middle one is the eared washer. It has the two points. They seat inside the main gear. Top one goes on. And then we have a bell washer where the top is raised. That goes to the front of the reel. We have our little cap that seats next. And we have those two tension washers and we can put those on after we install the side plate. I just noticed that there's a little grease there. You do not oil a uh, AR clutch. It's a friction driven device and oil cuts down on friction. It will compromise the performance of that clutch. Clean up the side case while I'm here. Use that same rod and reel cleaner. And now we can reinstall the side case. Find your two holes in the side case. They're going to go with the uh, posts. Slip it over and make sure that it's nice and tight. Check around the rim. You don't want any gaps in the rim. And go into your parts tray or however you organize your parts. Grab the two and the screws that go on there. the first. One more. Oops, didn't get that started. I like to hand thread the start screws when I can. That's because I know it's going in right and I don't have to worry about the possibility of cross threading. We have the two tension washers. They've, they've got a belly in them. I like to put the first facing up, the second facing down. Let's just control the tension on your star adjuster. Before I put the star adjuster on, I'm going to put that cap back in. I have the plastic insert inside of it that's going to grab the spool. And again, the points face out on that one. Now we put our star adjuster on. And again, hand thread. I want to make sure it's going on square. If it doesn't, you risk cross threading this post. If you cross thread this post, you uh, have to get another one. All right, tighten that down. And we have that little tension washer that goes between the star adjuster and the handle. And we put the handle on. And then we get that E clip, which is going to hold the gear post. onto the, uh, or the gear sleeve onto the post. Next up then is going to be our cap. Again, you want to make sure that that threads properly. That's why I like to do that one by hand. And then we can take our adjuster or our cap tie down and the screw and thread that in. Well those are all pieces in the parts tray so we should be in good position here. So let's just review what we did. We took the reel completely apart. We cleaned everything. We made sure that the pieces and parts did not need to be replaced. We checked them. We re-oiled and we lubricated the pieces and parts. And now it's time for reinstall. When you go to reinstall, pull up on this thumb release, pull it out. And then as we go to install this, we're going to look for the hole in the case where that little peg belongs. It belongs right here. So 
So you want to visually do this. Put your axle shaft in, find your screw sets, and make sure that that post goes into the case. Nice tight snap there means that we've probably got a good seal on it. Check all the way around, make sure that that's the case. Tighten down your three tie down screws by hand, get them started, make sure that you don't cross strip. And then take that final quarter turn or whatever it may be with the screwdriver, make sure that you're nice and tight. Okay, chances are we are over tightened with the cast control, but let's let's give it a start and see how we did. So let's turn. It's a nice smooth operation, which we expected. Make sure that you're well, we gotta tighten down on our drags. Make sure that they hold. And once they're holding, back it off so that you don't press out and prematurely wear the drags. Let's give it a, a just a turn down the knob for free spool. If you want that to spin freer, back the cast control off and it'll spin freer. And then let's make sure it snaps back. It does. So that means that we've reinstalled the assembly properly. And uh, I guess the last part would be we move the mags all the way over, we probably should have a freer spinning spool, and we do. So that's the idea with the mags. It's going to uh, prevent anti-backlash by slowing the spool as the line goes out. And uh, well, if you want to cast maximum distance, you want to minimize the mag, and you want to work on your cast control. All right, that's it. That's your ambassador. 5600 C5 Mag X made in Sweden. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and thank you to all of our first responders and essential personnel who work to keep us safe every day. To everyone, please stay safe, stay well, enjoy the art of fishing wheel repair. Don't forget to go fishing and uh, have a great day. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle.